what up y'all welcome back to the channel as you can see by the thumbnail by the wheel in front of you we're looking at the sim magic gt neo a wheel that i've been wanting to test for a while and thank god i have the opportunity to um so thank you for checking this out and viewing this so with that being said the sim magic gt neo is a wheel that i think is an enigma because it's so cheap you can't figure out why it has so many features it's so packed full of goodies that you look at it and you look at something like the McLaren wheel from Fanatec and you wonder why are you still pumping that out at $199 and you must be making a lot of profit because this is essentially $299 and you get significantly more for your money. So it kind of makes you think like what are they doing? How are they making this happen? Because it's so good. I took it out the box and I have to be honest with you, pleasantly surprised. You do have to get the MagLink cable if you want to run this on your PC. Now, really good quality, nice and sturdy, similar to that if you've used a cube controls wheel. The same type of MagLink snaps in place is not going to be yanked out. I don't care how hard you yank it and then plug it directly into your PC. This is something that's not compatible with your console, so just be wary. So when you do get that cable, you're likely going to get something like this with just an extension so it can be longer just in case your USB cable is significantly further away or your connection to your PC. With that being said, you get a lot of features and that's why I'm kind of surprised. So first you get 10 push buttons which have really nice clicks to it. Like you can definitely notice when you've clicked. You get two thumb encoders, really good detents in between. Not the most defined, not the least defined, somewhere in the middle. And if you're playing without gloves, you'll be fine. If you're playing with gloves, it'll be dampened slightly, but you'll know. Typically, ones like this, I do the flick technique myself. Um, you also get four encoders. Um, now, these are only rotating left and right. There's no push functionality to them. And then what I think is awesome, you get two seven-way funkies. And you say, well, why is that awesome? Because if I've used the Moza KS, which I have, it doesn't come with two seven-way funkies, which is kind of a letdown. I would much rather trade in push functionality for the encoders to have true seven-way funkies because you will navigate menus, you will increment things in menus, you will move forward and back. So having them here will make your life significantly easier to just be able to Again, up, down, left, right, push, and rotate. Like, that's the way it should be, and every wheel should come that way standard. With that being said, you also, on the back, you get both your shifter and your clutch. Now, these can obviously be mapped, like many, to be buttons and analogs and dual. Um, so, again, you know, for those of you who may not be able to use a brake and throttle, you have these options here. Um, they are quite dampened compared to the buttons. So again, that's pretty cool. The wheel feels great in hand. The grips are harder than I would like personally. Um, you know, if you had to pull out two drawbacks, I would say not having push on the encoders and that's not my favorite, but they are grippy. The shape of them is quite good. Um, they're quite narrow here, but if you look at the side, it extends out, so you have something to wrap your hand around. If you have really large hands, that may be a little bit of a problem for you, but I don't think you'll have much. The back here, the shifters do slide in and out to give you a little bit more, so if you have smaller hands than me, which if you do, you have tiny hands, because I have rather small hands, um, then you'll just be able to move these out to give yourself a little bit more space to click. The whole wheel uh, can be used in SimHub, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so you can map and basically program the rev lights, the buttons, or individual LEDs. So you have three options, depending on your comfort level with SimHub. Um, I think SimHub is the most powerful tool. As a matter of fact, I don't think I know it's the most powerful tool in sim racing. And I would recommend it to anybody and everybody. This could simply be added as a device, as I'll show you in a little bit when we get this on the rig. But overall, I would say, for the price of what you're going to pay, this is nothing short of amazing. Um, we'll put it through its paces. 
I was going to just say, all right, that's it. See you later. Go buy it and be done. But we'll show you how it works when you get it on to SimHub. And we'll run a few laps. Um, I've run a few laps myself individually. Um, and it feels really good. And I would recommend it to anybody. But we'll put it through its paces and let you know how we feel once we get it on the rig. One last note. Please check on my guy Matt at Simulation R Us. He's making some really cool wheel stands. Um, these can be put on the wall and mounted. Or, as you can see, sit on a desk or a table or anything along that matter. Obviously, all of these items can be interchanged with whatever you would like. It could say Fanatec, it could say Moza, it could say Sim Magic, it can say Simicube, it can say your own brand name, or anything like that. So go ahead and check them out. Good guy, small channel on Etsy. So again, let's get this on the rig, let's tell you what we think, and let's get to a conclusion that you probably already feel where I'm going, but let's do it anyway. See you on the rig. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the Sim Magic GT Neo. Again, the wheel is $300. Um, this version has the mag link, so you'll pay a little bit more for that. Um, so again, if you're on Sim Magic, then you probably already have this and you already know how great it is. Um, for the rest of the world who may not have a Sim Magic base um, and you have an NRG style QR or any type of QR because you know there are so many different kits out there where you can modify it and change it from working with this QR to another QR. Um, again, you'll have to do some research on how that absolutely works. But again, this has four LED rotary encoders, two thumb encoders, two seven-way funkies, 10 push buttons, and all of the lighting and LED strips are controlled within SimHub so that it makes your life significantly easier. Um, I didn't have to download any SimMagic software or anything like that. I just literally hooked the wheel up, plugged it into my PC, went into SimHub, added the device, done. You can choose the different lighting profiles that you would like to choose, um, which is actually quite simple. And I'll be honest, I was quite surprised. And what we'll do is we'll take a quick look at it. So again, what you'll do is you'll go to devices and usually on the dashboard, it's easier. You'll hit the plus symbol. You'll scroll down here until you see the Sim Magic PT Neo. And again, since it starts with an S, it's pretty much further down. Um, but let's see. Yep, there it is. You'll click on it, hit OK it'll add it to your devices and then you can change you know the colors at these are presets but you also have the ability to go in and decide what you want to do um, whether or not you want to change it to a different color you want to change each individual button you want to go ahead and change uh, the button lighting the telemetry or the individual leds that you get behind each button and encoder and things like that so you have that option to change and again, you have options here to make more changes because again, SimHub is a powerful, powerful tool. And every wheel that's coming out today, in addition to maybe having your own software, you have to be compatible with SimHub. Um, I don't care about running two software, but you have to be compatible with SimHub. And that's something the Moza KS is just not where this absolutely is. So I would definitely say if you're looking for a inexpensive wheel, this is the best value that I've seen to date. Um, and it feels so good in hand. So again, that's simply adding it there. I'm gonna go back and let's take it on and go for a lap around the track. We turn off our pit limiter there. And I can tell you at first uh, glance when I took it out the box, I was pleasantly surprised um, at just how nice of a build quality this is, especially compared to the Moza KS. I tested the Moza KS and, you know, it definitely brings in tremendous value. And if you're on the Moza ecosystem, I wouldn't say not to get it. Hell, if you're not in the Moza ecosystem, I wouldn't tell you not to get it because it's not a bad wheel. Um, but compared to this, that feels like it's missing something. And this just feels like much better quality. Um, I'm not going to get into the specifics of carbon infused plastic and aluminum supports and backings and all those things because at the end of the day like i had again the uh fanatec uh gt mclaren wheel um at the time that was 199 and it holds up like it's it's not something that'll break on you as long as you treat it right but to get some of the things you have on here like the magnetic shifters uh the way it feels in hand to get a subs like their qr1 was 
subpar. Now the QR2 is significantly better, um, but now that McLaren will look so dated when you think, okay, it's 199, you add an equivalent QR2, which is aluminum. Now the wheel is $300, and then you look at that $300 wheel compared to this $300 wheel, and this can be run through Sim Hub and has thumb encoders and has LEDs and has red lights. Then you start to go, well, wait a minute, what am I doing here? You know, so the great thing about this wheel is if you have a Fanatec base, you can go through SRM and you can get an adapter kit for it. So again, like just driving with the wheel feels absolutely great. The value to dollar proposition for anybody who's uh, saying, I want to upgrade from my Logitech G920 or 923, and I want to go ahead and, you know, get something that's better than what I have now. Um, this should be on your very, very, very short list because of the value, because of the cost. And if, like I said, you're looking at between this and the Moza Chaos, I think you'd be silly not to get this. This is better quality um, than the Moza Chaos. And the Moza Chaos isn't bad. Um, like anything, there are stories you'll hear about the Moza Chaos, about the Sim Magic GT Neo, um, and all wheels at some price point. No wheel is flawless, uh, where it never ever has a problem, because at the end of the day, when you're making dozens, hundreds, thousands of wheels, you're going to occasionally run into somebody who has an issue. So I will tell you, again, the more I just drive with this wheel and run laps and run laps and run laps, the more I say, man, if this was around at the time that I first started, and I haven't been in sim racing as long as some of the other streamers, uh, I've played racing video games for the better part of two decades, um, probably longer than that, since I am a 42-year-old man. But I mean, I've played from the first Gran Turismo to Ridge Racer all the way back. And being in sim racing now and seeing what's going on and the wheels that are coming, this is definitely worth your money. Again, if you're looking at a budget setup and you just are upgrading from the G29 and you're like, all right, I'm going to look at getting a setup, no matter what setup you get, this wheel should be on your shortlist. You don't, again, have to have a Sim Magic base. You can have a Moza base and run this wheel. Just plug it directly into your computer as it is not, you know, console compatible. But the buttons feel really good. I mean, they have a nice little click to it. Um, the shifters feel nice and soft. Um, they definitely are dampened. Uh, you can feel it. And also when you pull it, you can hear it. It's definitely a more quiet dampen sound, but it still feels really good. And like I said, when you hold the Moza KS in your hand, I'm going to keep bringing that wheel up or the McLaren wheel from Fanatec because they're, you know, they're the budget wheels. This is leaps and bounds above the rest. Um, the Magic aim for a price point, and I feel like they exceeded that price point in value with this particular wheel, and I would recommend that out to anybody. The funky knobs do exactly what you expect them to do. There's a nice click to them when you move them in either direction, push or rotate. Um, the thumb encoders, like I said, they you can tell the detents. Are they as defined as some others? No. You know, they, they definitely, again, aren't the best thumb encoders I've ever felt. But again, you got to understand the price point. You know what I mean? And that's where, to me, the value is through the roof. Um, it, it does everything that a person could expect, hope for. Um, and I would recommend it again to anybody who's looking to buy a wheel. So let's go ahead and get off the rig. Let's conclude this rather short video. And I'll tell you what I think. And I think you already know. Um, and let's wrap this up real quick. See ya on the flip side. All right, guys. So let's conclude the review of this wheel. So first and foremost, again, I say to you, four encoders, two thumb encoders, 10 push buttons, two seven-way funky switches. It also has on the back, it has your paddles and your clutches, which can be mapped to use any way you like, you know, push button analog or dual you can slide out this 
a little bit further if you have, say, smaller hands, but I don't think you'll have an issue. In the back, it has that wonderful NRG style QR, which I think is the best in the business. And it's all compatible with SimHub. At the end of the day, if you're looking at a wheel that's 300 bucks or less, this is the best value. I have nothing more to say to that than I've used the KS, I've used the McLaren wheel from Fanatec, and this is $300. There's a lot of good wheels that are in price ranges above this. Even some that I would say I would get this over than some of the comparisons. So put this on your very short list. It feels great in hand. I think it has tremendous quality and durability. Using it compared to those other wheels that I've used at this budget and price point, this is the best buy of country model. You won't regret it. It's something you'll absolutely enjoy. I think you'll see all the features you get to use in SimHub, the most powerful tool in sim racing, and you will find value beyond your wildest dreams. So with that being said, if you think this is worth it for you and you think, hey, Ray, I want to be part of the team, go ahead and give me a thumbs up first and foremost. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Like, why wouldn't you want to know when I've got new stuff coming? And I appreciate it. And thank you. I do want to say a heartfelt and always wonderful thank you to those members out there who continue to just support me month over month in what little way that they can. Um, that goes a long way in helping me achieve the DIY dreams that I have. Um, I'm trying to build the active pedal a little more costly uh, than some other stuff I've done, but not as costly as it could be. Um, so that's my next DIY in the near future. So hopefully I'll bring that to you guys. And again, thank you all members, subscribers, followers, people who like my channel, people who comment. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you all. And you know what? I think I'm done with this one. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.